blast wound. A lot uh -huh. of the boosted, uh, boosted attacks into shield pressure. Uh, boosted forward air into jab string is not a... It's not safe on shield, but it's uh, it sort of frame traps a bit. If you try and punish the initial boosted forward air, you'll get by the jabs. And the uh, boosted forward air to down tilt is a mix-up on that. Change the timing up. Now, for Rob, I'm not sure what archetype he would fill if he was in an anime fighter. So I think it's just more general that playstyle like Lucario was supposed to be with yep. Street Fighter 4. Or Street Fighter. Yep. Air dashing right arm. Excellent Dak is there. Wave dash down top is a very good mobility option. So the top doesn't only provide pressure on the opponent, it provides very good mobility yourself also. Another big thing about this matchup is that Rob will get punished really hard by Luigi, while Luigi won't exactly get those same get punished the same way. Yep. Because Rob, he's kind of floaty up. He's kind of floaty, but at the same time, he also is that weight where he gets hit hard and for hard percents. While Luigi, really floaty and fast escape options, while still having a really good aerial combo game, yet hindered by his aerial mobility, which Rob definitely has a bit more of. Oh, oh sniped with the laser! Snipe. Wow. Rob also has a very, very large hurtbox, which will hurt him in this matchup especially, as Nair can break out of, Luigi's Nair can break out of combos very low percents, very high percents also. Nothing uh -huh. is really guaranteed against Luigi. Maybe forward air to down smash. I doubt that even. Uh -huh. Cables with the Randy misfire, as he often likes to do. Now, the thing about Combs specifically is that he sometimes SDs, and generally it's he SDs more than the average player. So that's why I'm going to be a bit more hesitant when he's off the ledge and yep. potentially get stuck onto Smashville. Shout out to SD problems. That feel. Alright. Good top pressure there. Kayla's using a lot more fireballs than many other Luigi's I've seen. He does sort of lead into his approaches. Uh, Fireball to wave dash and down smash is common for him. F tilt also. They're very good options to sort of pressure space from mid stage, basically. Comb tried to go for the robo hoo ha there. Oh Unable my. to get it. Luigi's just so floaty. Kayla's got the wave dash and down smash, which was actually crouch canceled by Comb, and you would think he would be able to punish, but Luigi just slid right through, which is just a testament to Luigi's mobility both on the ground and at times in the air. Nice stack is to catch k -Wills off guard on the ledge. Well, not the ledge, but the platform. Getting into the sock. <laughs> I imagine the Rob's up smash usage in this matchup is somewhat similar to Fox's up smash and Fox jigs, where he's looking to sort of catch his falls, uh, catch his landings on the ground with up smash, keep him juggled. Because although Luigi does have a lot of options to get out of juggles, he's at a weight where he can be kept above you. He's incredibly floating. Uh huh. Wow, that almost killed him. Comb is not really sweet spotting his up -bees. I wonder if Kills will catch on to that soon enough. Now, I think the neutral is a really important part here because both of them have a lot of mobility. Rob with the air on stage, yep. while Luigi with the wave dashes and downbees on the ground. So, a lot of burst movement is going to be put into play here. Oh, that's. Wow. That was nice. Luigi has the up. Well, yep. the downbeat. Misfire is. Very difficult to space around unless you're prepared for it. So Combs just played the safe there, which is definitely good. Uh huh. Yep. Rob's up throw is a kill throw at higher percents. I don't know about this patch, but in the previous patch it was a very, very good kill throw. Oh, ho, ho, wow. second snipe of the match! Evens it up like that! Wow. Yep. So, as I was saying earlier, I think that the neutral is really important in this match because both of them have projectiles, both of them have ways to mix up their approaches, and both of them can hit hard if they get in. Yep. I'd like to see a, a bit more wave dash and shield from Kaylos. Looks like uh, Cove is sort of seeing his wave dash and then trying to put a hitbox out there. And if Kaylos did wave dash and shield, then he could punish the hitbox as it came out. Uh huh. It's very good against players who try and catch your own approaches with uh, hitboxes instead of shields or something. Uh huh. Now, a smooth thing that Comb just did there, which I'm not sure if it was intentional, but he comboed Luigi into a top by hitting him downward to the right. Wow. And I wish that he was able to get something off of that, like maybe even a kill, because then that would have been a great giphy. Very good stage awareness. 
Up. Oh, you should, oh, oh. Unfortunate. Just barely dying there. Oh, yep. Cable is caught onto his pattern of movement and just placed an F match right where he thought he would be. And he guessed correctly. Uh-huh. What you have to do against these characters with burst movement, like Ike, Luigi, Rob, etc. Just the PMDT staying on the change log there intending to remove burst movement. <laughs> and now we're watching Rob Luigi. Alright. I'm thinking that this set will go to WarioWare because then he gives K Wills a lot less room to mix up his approaches. Yeah. While he can still control a lot of the space with the top and the lasers. Especially since Luigi, his projectile is only in a straight line. Yep. So it can't control as much space. Definitely. Uh, yeah. That would also. Oh, uh, looks like they're going back. Perhaps it's the run back because he felt that it was really close before and yep. that probably could have won the match. There's no shame in that. It was a very close match. Either of them could have won it. Let's see who take this one. Alright. Kewels is very good up tilt to this combo, as I've noticed, from playing him and watching him. Uh-huh. That was a strange crossover jab series. You don't really see that one. Yep. I'm not exactly sure how well this stage would go on Rob because while he does have a lot more stage presence than Luigi with the laser. Wow. Oh! Three. He's just getting so many laser kills! Can we change the balloon this is incredible. counter to a laser counter? <laughs> yeah. One big similarity among these characters is their recoveries are intimidating at first. They're able to put out hitboxes very quickly. Luigi with his potential misfire. People being afraid of his uh, forward air and up air as he's recovering. Same with Rob and his boosted aerials. The one thing you need, do need to realize in this matchup is their recoveries are very, very punishable. They do not go very far. Oh, uh, oh both of them. That was very unfortunate on both ends. Okay, so what I think happened there was K. Will thought that he landed on stage when he hadn't, so his down B from the previous recovery was still used, and he wasn't able to recover, and he just dropped like a rock. However, Comb, he was trying to predict Luigi to go back and fade back a bit, so he went really deep and then kind of suicided before he had a chance to react to the fact that he didn't hit K. Wills and was really far off stage. One of K. Wills' strongest points as a player is his shield awareness. He's very good at pressuring shields and he has very deep understanding of uh, exactly how to pressure shields, especially with Luigi, which is a character which doesn't have that many frame safe moves. He does it mostly by positioning and hit attacking the back of shields. Uh huh. Yep. Let's see. Alright. Kewels can definitely bring this back as we see him right there. Wave dash in up snap. Alright. It's not even, but it's doable. It's definitely doable for us. Good hit a gun. Shout outs to the balloon counter. I hate the balloon counter, that is, to be honest. I think it's hilarious. I was talking with the fungo earlier about it. It's terrible. Balloon counter is the worst. <laughs> Please kill. Alright. There's a very good last second air dash there. Luigi was primed with the up smash. Yeah. Luigi is a bit tough to kill for Rob, as most of Rob... Wow. I was about to say that most of Rob's kill options are fairly slow to start up, but then he proved me wrong right there. I think that with a Dacus, it's made up because the startup... Yeah. The startup is a lot longer than if it's just used normally. Yep. Well, in general, it's a lot longer. But the Dacus, the startup is used as he's approaching, so it leads to a very fast kill move if he gets the good read. It's also very deceptive, especially if you do it from the center stage. You can see a lot of Game & Watch players like Bees do uh, Dacus center stage, and a lot of players like Freeze, Dacus, and Tech Chase. Those are two of the main usages for it. Uh huh. Kalos can definitely still bring this back. Just right now. Right now, it's really important for Comp to tack on as much damage as possible and not let Luigi land, which he is doing really well right here. Oh, I was thinking... Oh, come oh. on, Comb. There we go. Good thing he makes it back. I was thinking that the top would hit Luigi and that would have been game, but that wasn't the case. Comb has made very good adaptation to the set to K. Will's snare usage. He's figuring out his patterns and following with snare. Because K. Will's very good at mixing up. He doesn't do it every time. But Comb's recognizing his patterns and punishing him accordingly. Uh-huh. That's gonna be That's stock, wow. and we're going to a Game 3 situation! Comb versus K-Wills! Wow. Comb is playing so well right now. He is. He's like, reading... The balloon count is fraudulent. The balloon count is the best thing about this stream. Yes! What is this? <laughs> what is this? 
All right. Let's see, K. Wolves has the counter pick advantage. He's he might look at. I don't know. It's tough. They both have similar recoveries. Can both recover from similar distances. Uh, maybe Smashville again, honestly. I think Combe should ban. Yeah. I'm not sure how good his platform game is, but I think that he should have banned FD because K. Wills' burst movement can't be escaped at all from there unless you're in the air, in which Luigi, if you have him above you, you're in a really good position, but if he's yeah. below you, then you have a problem because he can just wave dash around, catch you in the air, and even get a couple nares and up airs. Luigi right. going to Delfino, though. This is a jank stage. All right, let's see. It is. So... Eh. I like the counter pick from K Wills. Yeah, I agree. There's a lot of uh, horizontal space here for him to move around. Good crouch cancel there by Comb. Comb is seeming very wow. <laughs> is very aware of K Wills' movement. He's adapted very heavily. He's basically calling him out wherever he's going. K Wills can definitely adapt though. He's a strong player. Oh, does four 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 air dashes in a row? I think he ledge canceled the second yep. one, in, second or third one. Wow. And that was kind of an incredible movement. However, right now he's not in the best positions. Luigi up. However, he gets back to stage and it's about even. Oh. It's. Oh! Oh, baby! That was an amazing top combo by Cole. Wow. Rob's top and laser are very, very good projectiles. They're some of the best in the game, right? Uh, laser is very good both for sniping and escaping corner pressure by applying some uh, counter pressure. And top is. Uh, uh, that's K. Wills has suicided that's twice a set, and while it wasn't exactly as detrimental in the previous game, it's a lot worse right now because now Comb can just take all this 3%, yeah. getting 40% off of what probably should have been a stock reset. Down throw, Rob is too high of a percent to get a follow-up. Apparently he's that floaty. I didn't think that he was. A lot of Luigi's throw follow-ups can be escaped with proper DI. If you DI away, there really isn't much Luigi can do. Sort of uh -huh. like Mark in that respect. There's a Mark percent for Luigi. Best bet is probably wave dash in, up smash or down smash. Don't go off stage there, K. Will. That would have been cool uh. if. So right now, Kobe's getting the reversal, but I think it would have been really cool if he got the reversal off of the top that bounced off the wall because it had a really close call to K. Will's. K. Will's able to close that stock off right now. Really necessary if he wants to come back in the set. Wow. He does not want to be down three to one on Delfino Secrets. Oh, oh my! Oh, come on. Oh my, this just this, hurts to watch this right is now. Unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Kale's a very strong player. Don't be fooled by his performance. You've seen him in previous games. He's very strong. Combe also has adapted very heavily though. Even without the SDs, it's still pretty definitely in Combe's favor here. Yeah. Wow. Combe knows to keep Luigi in the air. Oh. And, well, yeah. Combe knows to keep Luigi in the air, and Rob has a lot of the tools to do it with up air, up smash, down smash, popping them up into the air. Yep. Keeping Luigi up there, really important. Down smash, I've actually noticed him, he's catching a lot of the burst movement, which I think is really good on his part. I think this is going to be game set match, like, Probably. right here. Or yeah. really soon, there it is. Unfortunate ending, unfortunate last game, but... The set itself was a very close one, a very good one. Both uh -huh. players adapting very well. I don't want to discredit Combe too much, but I feel like that was more K. Wills defeating himself than Combe beating K. Wills in that last game. Definitely. In the game Combe did take, though, he looked very, very strong, and he adapted very well. So yeah. I'm not sure whether he would not have continued the, that adaptation if K. Wills had not yeah. SD'd three and or so times. As evidenced by that match, he was also keeping up the, S the adaptations. Yep. Because... He was able to get Luigi in those really bad situations, which is how you want to beat, win the matchup. Combs' pressure in, that, in those games were very strong. Who's that was Dark Pusher? What? Just look at the camera whenever it turns back to come to the game. Got it. Wondering we have stream on next. 